Hi everybody, I'm Teddy Tillahan and I'm here at the Emerson Pressure Relief Valve Flow Lab in El Campo, Texas. Today, I'm going to be going over one of the benefits of the Remote Sense accessory on an Anderson Greenwood 200 Series Pilot Operated Pressure Relief Valve. This here is an Anderson Greenwood 200 Series Snap Action Pilot Valve. One feature of any pilot operated valve is the ability to remote pressure sense back to the vessel that the valve is protecting. When you remote sense a pilot valve, you can avoid the rapid cycling and stability issues often caused by high non-recoverable inlet line loss. I want to briefly explain these two concepts. Non-recoverable inlet line loss is the reduction of pressure at the valve inlet during flow. This pressure loss is most often caused by upstream isolation valves and complex or undersized piping. As these losses only occur during valve operation, they don't affect the valve set pressure, but do impact stability, capacity, and blowdown. Now, rapid cycling is a common type of instability in pressure relief valves. Rapid cycling can be caused by a number of things, but inlet line losses are a common issue. It is extremely damaging to a pressure relief valve and can severely reduce the valve's reliability and effective capacity. What I have set up here is a 200 series pilot with an integral sense connection on one side of a 3A ball valve and a remote sense connection on the other. This hose simulates the remote pressure sense line back to the vessel that the valve is protecting and is connected back to our test vessel. I'm going to increase the vessel pressure up to the valve's set pressure with the 3A ball valve in the integral sense setting and maintain main valve lift. Then I'm going to simulate inlet line loss by gradually closing this ball valve located upstream of the main valve. Eventually, when the inlet line losses exceed the blowdown of the 200 series, the valve will go into unstable rapid cycling and in severe cases, chatter. I will then turn the 3 ball valve from the integral sense connection to the remote sense connection. This transition will allow the true vessel pressure to be sensed by the pilot and the valve will immediately become stable. I'll show you that demonstration now. As you saw, when I started to close the upstream ball valve, I restricted flow to the pressure relief valve, which simulates high inlet line loss, and resulted in an unstable rapid cycling condition. Now that the valve is configured to use the remote sense connection, the pilot is directly sensing the pressure in the vessel it is protecting. I will now bring the pressure in the vessel back up to the set pressure of the valve, and you will see the valve will open up once, and then close back down once. opened up once, closed back down once. Inlet line losses can be difficult to deal with, but using a pilot valve with remote sense connection can be a much more affordable option when compared with repiping the entire installation. Just remember that inlet line losses reduce the capacity of the valve, even when the valve is in a stable operation. So make sure to consider it during sizing. Thanks for watching, and for more information on remote sense and other pilot valve accessories, Look for the links in the description below. Take care.